The most common disinfectants being used to prevent the spread of COVID-19 virus are alcohol-based sanitizers that contain anywhere between 60 to 95% alcohol in them. But experts claim there is another way to kill the COVID virus. That is UV light. This is Tech Against COVID, a series where we get you the best of technology and how it is helping us fight a deadly virus. I am Cyrus John and on this episode of TAC that is Tech Against COVID, we will show you about what UVC light is and how it is being used as a disinfectant. The efficacy of UVC gadgets being sold in the market that claim to disinfect surfaces with up to 99% efficiency. We'll also show you how you can use these gadgets and most importantly, we'll get you an expert's inputs on whether UVC gadgets are safe and things you should consider before buying them. Okay, before we start a little caveat, we have spoken to experts but we ourselves are not experts. And although we are getting to you different viewpoints which will help you decide what you want to buy in the market, we just want to be very clear that that solution that you're looking for might not be 100% the best solution. UV light is a type of radiation that was discovered more than 200 years ago and was used back then to disinfect surfaces in 1877 and then later used to disinfect water and air as well. UV light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum that includes gamma rays, X-rays, infrared, microwaves and radio waves. UV light is further divided into three categories UVA, UVB and UVC. Ultraviolet light of between 200 to 280 nanometer wavelength is known as UVC that has more energy and is known to be harmful to cell tissue and can burn your skin and even damage the retina. Experts say the energy the UVC light emits is capable of killing various pathogens like COVID SARS virus. A study by the American Journal of Infection Control found that it was able to kill large amounts of the coronavirus in liquid cultures. We'll put the link to the research in the description. UVC light has been used against other coronaviruses in the past and it has also been used against Ebola. And we'll put the link to that also in the description. UV light has a much shorter wavelength, shorter than the blue, and hence more energy per light particle. And this energy is what, if you hit a DNA molecule, it will break it up. And this is how pathogens can be killed, be it viruses or bacteria. They, of course, require different amounts of dose. This is Professor Arnab Bhattacharya, who is a scientist and works in the field of ultraviolet emitting materials and devices at the TIFR, that is the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Mumbai. He explained to us how UVC can be effective in eliminating the deadly COVID virus. Of course, every pathogen requires a different amount of energy or dose before it will, you know, its activity is reduced. So depending on whether you have a virus or a bacteria or what have you, you require a different amount. And this also depends how far are you. The closer I am to the light, I require less. Uh, you know, I, I'll get that dose in a quicker time. Companies that work in the field of these UV disinfecting gadgets have found a way to make the size of these gadgets much more compact so that they can be used in your homes. A similar product in this category is this, the Acuva Solarix UV LED. This compact gizmo uses short wavelength radiation to inactivate microorganisms by destroying the nucleic acids and disrupting their DNA. Now, the makers of this gadget claim that it can disinfect a surface by 99.97% and that too in just 2 seconds. All you need to do is wave the gadget on the surface you want to disinfect. So 99.97% disinfection we have tested against hard surfaces because any UV exposure to hard surfaces eliminates microbial contamination very effectively. However, you may have to adjust the exposure time appropriately to achieve the same disinfection on non-porous or porous surfaces like, you know, clothing or other things. Something like this is tough to believe, which is why I asked Arnab whether something like this is even possible. 
so again i mean theoretically sure if i have a you know huge source of uv and i just blast it with uv light you probably get the dose you need in 2 seconds practically i have not seen a single uv sterilizer in the market that actually generates enough uv intensity to be killing 99.9% or 99% whatever the claims are in a matter of seconds so to get enough intensity from a standard uv light source be it leds or lamps or whatever else on a largeish area with in you know tens of centimeters across to get that intensity to do it in 2 seconds no way i don't think it's possible The Acura Solarix retails at a starting price of 9999 in the market and can be purchased online. Another gadget in this category is the Philips UVC disinfection system that also uses UVC radiation technology. So what we have here is another UVC disinfecting product bigger than what we showed you earlier and it works very differently kind of looks like a microwave that you have at home right uh what we need to do is just open the door place the product that you want to disinfect inside close the compartment set the timer as for the size of the product and then push start and you can place it inside for 2 to 8 minutes depending on how big the product is and it will start disinfecting the manufacturers claim that it's capable of deactivating the SARS-CoV-2 virus and the same has been tested by the department of materials engineering at the indian institute of science the link to the test is in the description You can load various items like laptops, keychains, books and even your groceries. Heck, you can even throw in a pizza if you want. This particular disinfection system is available in 10 liters, 15 liters and 30 liters capacity, price at 7990, 9990 and 11990 respectively. Apart from these, there are many other similar products in the market that claim that they can kill the COVID-19 virus. But There is always a caveat. Unfortunately, it's not very easy to test the actual efficacy of a UV system uh, because if you need a power meter uh, which is calibrated and the UV doses are super expensive, uh, in the US and Europe you can buy these color changing strips that uh, will change color once there's a sufficient intensity, but I don't think they're available here. So it's really very difficult. There's no easy household way to check uh, is this box actually putting out uh, you know a milliwatt or 10 milliwatts or 100 milliwatts. A lot of people have been asking online whether it is safe to disinfect things like your face masks and toothbrush using UVC light. Is it a safe and effective way instead of using sanitizers or washing with detergent? UV is great when you want to kill things on the surface. But the penetration of UV light is very small in most materials and in a mask most of the pathogens you want to kill are not on the surface but they are inside the mask. They are trapped inside the mask. So you actually need a lot of UV you need a dose of about 1 joule per centimeter squared at this 254 nanometer wavelength in order to ensure that you have at least a 99.99% reduction in the pathogen count as much as uvc is known to kill viruses and pathogens it is also harmful to humans exposure to uvc for humans can cause skin cancer and even severe burns even the world health organization has issued guidelines not to disinfect any part of the skin using uvc Whenever you're disinfecting a surface using UVC, make sure that you keep a safe distance away from the light. Though these UV gadgets are made available to customers in more compact forms, UVC is also being used on a larger scale in bigger spaces like gaming arcades, banks, and even in hospitals to disinfect surfaces. It's faster and less labor intensive than cleaning by hand. Now we come to the most important part of the video which is what you should be on the lookout for when buying a UVC gadget in the market. Well for starters make sure why you want to buy a UVC gadget. Is it for disinfecting smaller or larger surfaces? This will help determine the size of your UVC disinfectant. Next, check for safety standards and efficacy of a product. You will find these in the form of certifications. If you're not sure what certification means, conduct some research on it. Uh, the problem is even if you see a label saying that it is certified by some agency, we need to know what that agency considers uh, the number that they it meets. So, for example, for a long time, people believe like 50 millijoules per centimeter squared was enough, but that's true only if it's on the surface, not if it's below the surface. and over the last year we've learned a lot about the SARS-CoV-2 virus you need a lot more energy than 50 millijoules 
so uh, actually that's not sufficient anymore so even if a device has a sticker of something unless they see the power level only if they say that we have measured it and it gives so many millijoules then i know that i need to keep it for so many so much time because i can calculate that but without that i would be extremely hesitant to accept at face value whatever people are saying unless they give us data for what is the intensity of the light gener being generated finally keep the device away from children pets and anybody who doesn't quite understand how to use it that's it for this episode of tech against covid next week we'll show you other gadgets that claim that they can help us battle covid-19 you should also know that we have made an episode on how apps are helping us fight covid-19 and as always do stay safe and for everything tech stay tuned to gadgets360.com